Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, Tarot can resonate in reverse, so flip it, switch it however it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, check your other placement. Something may resonate for you there. Okay, let's get into this energy for Taurus, please. I feel like you you feel like you've missed the opportunity for your happiness for your wish. So I feel like um you feel like you've missed the opportunity for this wish. Like your dreams come true. If you're dealing with an Aries, Aries is very trapped in their head about the Empress. They're they're divine feminine. Um if you're dealing with another Taurus, they're kind of like, I feel like very, a very guarded and defensive where a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag is concerned. Uh, like you're on the defensive here. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Gemini, you may be married to a Gemini. You may be married to a Gemini. You have the, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a Cancer, you have the king of wands and the emperor so i almost feel like this person's leveling up i feel like it's one in the same here um this person could be leveling up if you're dealing with a leo there's communication with their partner their their true partner their two of cups if you're dealing with a virgo i feel like you may be standing your ground at work you may be, um, you also may be overcoming obstacles at work. Um, if you're dealing with a Libra, they're heartbroken about a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like this person may be waiting because of drama. This is, you know, this person's waiting for their ships to come in, but I feel like this person may be waiting because of drama. Whatever they're doing, they're waiting until the drama clears, waiting for the, the smoke to clear, so to speak. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like they're doing some soul searching. They, they may have taken a trip up a mountain and, you know, they're just by themselves. They're just, you know, maybe they're on a journey by themselves to um, find some enlightenment, find some, uh, do some soul searching. But I feel like this person may be traveling by themselves. So, um, yeah, they may have take a road trip. Um, just like, like, you know, when you decide you just want to go to the beach and you just want to sit there and listen to the waves, but you don't want to be a, a disturbed. You don't want a lot of people with you. That's what the Sagittarius is going through right now. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there may be a, tr a truth about a choice. Someone's going to speak a truth about a choice. If you're dealing with an, an Aquarius, um, there's an offer of a new beginning in love. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, they're lying about what they really want. So if they're, they're telling you their wish fulfillment is X, Y, Z, they're actually lying about what their wish fulfillment is, what they really want. So let's get into this. You feel like, Taurus, you've missed the opportunity for your wish. So, you know, this is a this is a wish upon a star, right? You may you may be feeling like you missed the opportunity for this. But I don't think you did. What's meant for you is yours. I'm hearing is it too late? I don't think it's too late. Never too late. The only one stopping you is you. That's what I'm feeling for you, Taurus. That's what's the message coming through right now. The only thing that's only thing that's stopping you is you. So these two want to come out. So you have Queen of Pentacles. There you are. There you are, Taurus. I feel like you have all these options before you. And you just have to decide. You're trying to...
I feel like this is you being patient about this new beginning. Because of burdens, this is an option. Oh, someone's obsessed with burdens here. I mean, is it a burden of a choice? Because right here you have you have temperance. You know, you're being helped in a, in in some way spiritually. And this would be the minor arcana or the empress. Okay, so you're obsessed with with work, working, say, obsessed with the burdens of working on the drama, heartbroken and waiting. I feel like, I don't feel like you're rushing in and rushing out, but you're kind of guarded. Somebody's guarded because of somebody rushing in and out. You may be very guarded because somebody rushes in and rushes rushes out. They they come they show up when they want to. There might be a fight and an argument that says someone says I'm I'm done I'm over this I'm out fight walking away out in the cold. There's something that has come full circle here. I feel like it the change happened because there wasn't. There wasn't, okay, I can see what's going on here right now. Okay, so Taurus, so you have all these options in front of you. And I feel you're, you're being patient because you are the empress here. In this case, you're, you're, you're uh, to make your choice, to make your decision. You're being very patient because you're obsessed with these burdens of making this choice, whatever this is, because you know, do you want to work on this? Um, do you want to work on the burdens? Do you want to work on the, the drama? Um, your heartbroken waiting. It's like it's moving too slow for you. I feel like this is you rushing towards, like you rush to the defense, rushing to the defense. You, you're like, you know, you're heartbroken. It's almost like the argument or fight. Somebody just walks away and leaves you out in the cold. So I feel like, okay, so when you're dealing with somebody, this is kind of a deep dive here for you, Taurus, for some reason. When you have a confrontation with somebody, do you just walk away and, you know, disconnect and, and leave them out in the cold? Because you walk away from an argument. You walk away from an argument out in the cold. And somebody's trying to work on the drama here, but they, they, they're waiting heartbroken because someone rushes, rushes to be defensive. So you're not, somebody's not hearing what somebody else is saying here. Somebody's not listening to the other person when they're trying to, you know, say, look, I know I have options. I know I have all kinds of things I can do with me, right? But I'm patient because I want this new beginning, right? But I'm still obsessed with the burden because there's nothing that ever gets settled here. Because it's going to come full circle because there's no equal give and take. There's no equal communication in something long-term and committed. There's not. This is about... This is about a person who, when you argue and fight, they walk away and leave you out in the cold. So they don't like confrontation. They don't have coping skills. They don't want to, they don't want to face the reality of working on what, what the drama is. They just leave you obsessed with the burdens. Now, whether this is you, Taurus, or this is the person you're dealing with, one of you needs to speak a harsh truth. You need to stand in there and speak this hard truth. Are you going to reconcile? Uh, you're manifesting a queen of swords, king of swords energy, the two of you, manifesting this energy, which is cold, kind of cutting it like like um, a tongue like a a tongue like a knife, right? You both are saying words that you don't mean. You're the cold energy. You're looking off into different directions. You're very strategic. You're not showing emotion. There's like you know you both are manifesting that. You're manifesting that. You know, 
coldness towards one another, right? Where you should be trying to reconcile this. But there's a harsh truth that needs to be spoken. You know, there's things that need to be dealt with. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so let's get some more clarification on this. How is this going to roll for Taurus? Okay, so this Queen of Pentacles, this is a relationship. You could be married. Okay, the options. She has the option of being single at this point. Am I going to stay or am I going to go? Because I'm tired of this shit right here. Whatever that is. You know, that's, that's you know. This person's trying to be patient versus guarded and defensive. They're trying to balance themselves from being this. We already have this over here because someone always rushes to the, on the defense. They're rushing to the defense here. Right? This person wants to get that clarity. They want, they want that clarity. They want to um, do some soul searching about this beginning. Somebody's watching the burdens. You see the burdens. You see what, what damage is being done here. But there's not anything doing. But you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads about being obsessed with this burden, seeing this, and, and, and do I fix it? Which path do I take to, to fix it? You're very trapped in your head about working on this because there is somebody here who's very controlling, demanding. They want it their way or the highway. This is like the emperor in the most immature way. In the five of swords strategic and mind games okay this person wants to control and win and they don't care who they hurt right where they always cause the drama so this is very narcissistic energy somebody is just very controlling and if they don't have it their way then they throw a fit and they walk off heartbroken queen of pentacles again this is you taurus you're dealing with a, a narcissist in this case taurus you're not the narcissist in this case so I feel like you're waiting to heal. You're waiting. You're waiting for your wish. You're waiting to heal. You feel like there was a missed opportunity for your wish. That was your energy, right? But you're waiting for that wish. You're waiting. You're hoping, right? There's communication, back and forth communication, because someone always rushes to the defense. But communication about justice. Now, justice could be, if you're married, that you're going to talk about getting a divorce. Somebody wants their wish. I feel like they want to make things work, but the other person needs to take a chill pill. That's what they really need to do. So they're walking away because of fight from a relationship and moving forward to a new passionate beginning with a third party, acting like a player. At this, at this stage of the game, Taurus, this person doesn't want to hear what you have to say. And uh, when when they um, when you do confront this person about their behavior, they ghost you and then they go and cheat on you. That's what that's telling me right there. There's a relationship with someone's moving on to a new passionate beginning with a third party acting like a player. So this has come full circle because there is no equal give and take in this relationship. And there's things that are hidden. See... I feel like here, what was, what's in the dark? You know, there are secrets. There's a reason why everything ended because there's no equal give and take in this relationship because of the secrets. I feel like this isn't a reconciliation. This is a judgment. Like, you know, there's a lot of hidden things here. You know, this is going on. And it's causing you a tower moment, right? Because there is a third party deception. You're aware that there's a third party deception. And I feel like for you, Taurus, and you are coming in as Taurus here, um, you are, uh, you're going to take the high road and the high road is for you, not for them. You're actually going to move on. You know what they're up to. You have all those options. And just remember the option to be single is yours, not theirs, right? They're, I mean, they can be single, but this is about you and your journey at this point. So inspiration, blessings, and freedom. So I feel like you're inspired to free yourself from whatever this is because you know that there are blessings waiting for you on the other side. Why are you feeling stuck in this energy when you're not happy in there? 
you know it's like it's time for you to free yourself for your own well-being on the other <laughs> this is for your own mental and physical well-being that you need to free yourself from this situation because it's just going nowhere this person doesn't care they're narcissistic they don't care they don't care right you know that there are obstacles that need to heal um friendship i feel like for you Accept things that happen for a reason. You're accepting that things happen for a reason. And I feel like you have friendships around you that are going to help you um, through this. But they're saying self-care is the most important thing right now for you. True love is under the bottom of the deck for you. I don't feel like it's this person. Even though you've tried your best to heal the situation, uh, you didn't miss your opportunity because this wasn't your opportunity. So you feeling like that you had a missed opportunity or your wish, your wish is coming. Your wish is coming. So just know that it's under the bottom of the deck here. Let go of the person. No matter how hard you try to fix a broken relationship, if it's not meant to be fixed, it's not going to be fixed, right? There's a reason for that. There's a lot of grief. I feel like this offer there's a lesson here and something's going to transform with this metamorphosis it's going to transform because of this lesson and i don't know if this is an offer or an apology but whatever this is there is grief here you have to overcome this to move yourself forward but this offer i feel like you that you almost like I, i'm almost seeing this offer as a blessing in disguise whatever this is if this person offers you a divorce or offers you you know you can have this or you can have that take it take it and move forward with your life because the blessings are waiting for you once you do so a taurus that's all i have for you if that resonates with you please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you have a wonderful week